Next, number 56. The current and voltage along a properly matched line are... Ayan, pag properly matched line daw, ano raw ang... Ano raw ang mangyayari? Pag properly matched line. Pag properly matched line, walang nagre-reflect. Tama? Meron ka lang incident, pero walang nagre-reflect. So therefore, hindi siya mag... non-resonant siya. So hindi siyang sagot. At kung yan ay properly match, hindi siya reactive. Siya ay resistive. And therefore, hindi rin reflective. And the answer for this will be letter A. We call it flat. Ibig sabihin, walang standing wave. Kaya flat siya. Letter A is the correct answer. Next number, number uh, 57. What is the term referred to as the rapid degradation of output signal quality with channel-induced errors? Ano raw nangyayari doon sa mabilis na pagdedegrade ng output signal quality mo kapag ka may mga induced errors in the channel? We call this, pakitandaan nyo po ito ha, we call this the threshold effect. Maybe lumabas sa board exam yan and makuha natin, we will be very lucky for that. Okay, next question, 58. A coaxial line has a shield braid with inside diameter of 0.2 inch and a center conductor with a diameter of 0 0.057 inch. The characteristic impedance is what? Characteristic impedance can be calculated as ZO equal to uh, 138 okay, over square root of the relative permittivity log of the outer diameter over the inner diameter. Okay? So, ano ba yung outer diameter natin? Of course, yung mas malaki. Huh? The, the, yes, the, yung mas malaki. Ano ba yung mas malaki? That is the 0.2 inches. Okay? And the center conductor with the diameter, that will be the inner diameter, 0 0.057 inch. So, the characteristic impedance, by the way, what will be the relative permittivity? Walang sinabi. So, we're going to assume that that is air. Okay? And air has relative permittivity of 1 log of 0.2 inch over 0 0.057 inch. Therefore, we get the characteristic impedance. And the characteristic impedance will be letter Letter B, 75.23 ohms. Number 58. Okay. Next question, number 59. A short-circuited transmission line six, 6 inches long acts as a blank resonant circuit at a frequency of 492 megahertz. Okay. Ngayon, ganito ang, ganito ang approach dyan. No? Ang tinutukoy niya ay ano raw yung Ano raw yung mag act daw itong short-circuited transmission line na ito as what? Parallel resonant circuit, series resonant, series parallel or parallel series. Ang pagbabasihan natin dyan ay yung quarter wave, length line. Okay, so if this is quarter wave, pagka sa sabi natin nung nakaraan, no? Do sa TRS-1 natin, kung nakita nyo yun, sabi natin, Kapag kayan ay uh, uh, sakto, dapat sakto. <laughs> Diting ko nga. Sakto. Yan. Pag sakto daw ito, at ito ay shorted, ano raw ang itsura niya? It will act as what? It will act as a parallel resonant circuit. Correct? Yan. Okay. Pagka ito daw ay sobra, uh, I mean, sakto pa rin, pero open, ano siya? Para siyang uh, series. Okay? Naalala nyo ba yan? Okay, wala namang series parallel. Wala namang parallel series. Ang meron lang parallel or series o kaya inductive or capacitive. 
Okay, so dito dito tayo titigil na no? para mas madali yung discussion natin. Now, sabi niya, short-circuited transmission line. Uh, ito na yun. O di parallel. <laughs> okay? Uh, parallel. Eh kasi, sabi niya, short-circuited eh. Six inches long. Tandaan niya na, six inches long. Okay? Nag-ooperate siya sa 492 megahertz. Kunin natin yung wavelength. Wavelength is C over F. Correct. Ano yung C natin? 9 point, o gawin na lang natin ano, 984 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. Okay. All over, 492 times 10 to the 6 hertz. Or that is also per second. Okay. So tanggal na ito. Tanggal na yan, matitira na lang meters. 984 divided by 492, that is equal to 2 feet. Okay? Kung kukunin natin yung quarter wavelength, hatiin natin sa apat, 0.5 feet or foot. Okay? Or that is equal to what? 6 inches. Ibig sabihin, when you operate at this frequency, When you operate at this frequency, the quarter wavelength of that is 6 inches. Eh, gano'n raw kahaba yung transmission line? 6 inches din. So, ibig sabihin, itong quarter mo ay 6 inches, tapos yung line mo, 6 inches din. So, yung line mo, saktong quarter, eh, shorted sa dulo. Ano siya? Parallel. Okay, tanya na, sabi ko sa inyo, parallel eh. Ang sagot ay letter, letter, bakit naging C? <laughs> It should be parallel. Alright? Okay, dapat yan parallel, not series. Trust me on this. Okay? Letter A is the correct answer. Baka na-move lang yung check. Okay? So that is number, number 59. Ako ha? Okay, next number. Number 60. Number 60, what is the diversity scheme that uses different frequencies in a simplex path? Uh, gumagamit ng dalawang magkaibang frequency in a simplex. Uh, simplex meaning one way from transmitter to receiver. Very obvious. Ang tawag natin dyan ay frequency diversity. That is letter A. Okay. 